As the sun rose over the second week of the Sony Ericsson Open, Miami was the place to be. With one of the biggest fields on the ATP World Tour, this is a much-loved tournament to savour. Within this state-of-the-art stadium, competition on court will always be fierce. But away from the arena, there's time for the players to bond. A visit to Miami's Seaquarium promised an afternoon to remember and offered a chance to relax. It's been a tough schedule with the Indian Wells. I played a lot of matches and then it's, it's really nice to have a few days off and then and to be able to do something like this. This was really nice and this is something I will remember for a long time. Oh, it was uh, really nice. No, I, I never I have been with the Dolphins and uh, LA Cologne. No, uh, you know, uh, the water is a little bit cold. <laughs> You know, uh, in Miami, uh, we have a lot of uh, Latin Americans, and, and, and it's, it's uh, the same language, and it's, it's very nice to come back here, and, 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 you know, Miami is a special city. Yeah, of course, you know, there's so many good players here, and you have to play well every match, so I have to take one match at a time, but I, I have big hopes, because my form is good, and I'm playing well right now. Back at Cranton Park, there was a touch of glamour brought to the game as pop stars Mel B and Jay Sean joined Anna Ivanovic and Novak Djokovic for some mixed doubles. I'm ashamed of myself. It was another unique cameo performance for the fans at the Sony Ericsson Open. Nice, I really had lots of fun today and of course it was really easy and it was good to see so many kids out here. We had uh, lots of fun, uh, lots of talk as well. She was very nervous uh, going on the course. She said she, she uh, had the first lesson in her life yesterday. I loved it. I think I might take up tennis lessons, seriously. The evening presented the players with a chance to let their hair down in quite some style. Against the stunning backdrop of Miami with the Sony Ericsson Open, the players' party is always buzzing. I really enjoy the tournament. Uh, obviously played well last year. Uh, I've got a place just on Brickle, so it's really close to the courts and nice and relaxed. Great music, great food down here. The player party is the best in the world. Yeah, and everyone's excited to come to Miami. We're excited for tonight, you know, if Pharrell's playing, and when a guy like Pharrell's here, uh, you know, everyone's pretty pumped. While Pharrell did his party piece, Robin Sodling hit the street for a fans meet and greet that was very Miami. It's been two great days, and. Uh, it's always fun to do something like this, not on the on the site, on the tennis courts, to do it uh, in the city. It's, it's different and it's going to be nice. Especially here, here in the US where, where all the fans are so friendly and I, they really know a lot about tennis and they're really interested, so it makes it even more fun. I mean, you play so many matches, so many practice hours every, every day, every, every week, so of course it's, it's nice to do something else sometimes. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we hit the red dirt in Houston with the best of the action from the US Men's Clay Court Championship. And we reveal just what it takes to compete on the ATP World Tour as we spend the day with Finland's number one ranked player, Jarko Niemannen. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.